Hey guys, this is Dustin from Nerd Chic. I am going to do a quick tutorial um, on Google Search. This is going to be our basic tutorial. There's going to be an advanced one later. And in here, I was asked by um, one of our viewers, how do I best search for things and narrow down searches in Google? So with that said, let's answer that question with, again, a basic tutorial and then an advanced tutorial. So let's do that now. First off, I want to start by saying that the first thing that's most important is keeping it simple. The most simply you can start to search, the best. So let's say we want to find restaurants near me. See that? It's already starting to figure, again, figure it out. Restaurants near me. Boom. The next thing you know, you have a list of restaurants that are near you. Keeping it simple is probably the best thing to do when you're first starting to search for things. So that's the number one thing. Now, you may have to gradually add search terms to make something um, even more uh, searched or a better search. So maybe you want to do Mexican restaurants near me. Mexican restaurants near me. And maybe you want to see Yelp results on that. So Yelp, right? And you can see Yelp in here. There different Mex Mexican restaurants. Of course, that's not near you, so the more complex you get, the harder it gets to search. So starting off with Mexican restaurants near me, get you that, but you'll see the best result is restaurants near me, and then you can filter through. See how that does? It gets more and more complex. It gets harder to find stuff. So if you're looking for stuff that's nearby, one of the best ways to search Google is just that information near me or nearby. Another good term is nearby. Whatever you're doing in search, that's a good way to start. Think about what's the most simple way to start. All right, so let's gradually add search terms. So maybe we do something like um, one of the ones I've seen online is doing like job interviews. Because a lot of us, we need to prepare for job interviews. And we put down job interviews. And it's just like how to succeed, interview tips, best interview, whatever. Ten best job interviews. That's That's pretty good. Maybe want to get a little more descriptive because we want to prepare for job interviews. So there's a little more descriptive. Look at this. This is great. Your interviews in 24 hours. But the third try, if we put how to, watch what it does. How to prepare for job interviews. You get down to the detailed tips and you get exactly what you're looking for. How to prepare for an interview last minute which is probably your case if you're looking up Google stuff for how to prepare for a job interview. This would be a good search for you. So the more descriptive you get, the better. So first off, keep it simple, but if you're trying to communicate an exact thought, so it's more than just job interviews, you want to know how to prepare for them, get more descriptive. So get more descriptive, descriptive as you go. The next thing is you want to use the most important words only. Do not use extra words that don't make sense. Google is not only going to really follow up on the first 10 words you put in. So how to prepare for job interviews in the Washington, D.C. metro area for technology, whatever. If you're putting in much more than 10 terms, really Google is not going to be very helpful. You're already seeing this not giving me immediate search results. It's really paying attention to the first 10 things. So you need to get more descriptive. So see this interview coach Washington, it just, it gets really wide open. So maybe a better search would be how to prepare oops, for technology job interviews. And this is the way I do it. So boom, you can see some of the how to prepare for ace and ace the technical interview. You get it? So you're going to get more, you're going to get closer to what you want by making sure that the first 10 words are the most important. And to be honest, the le the less words, the better. Now, another thing to think about in this is that, you know, some people say it doesn't matter if you misspell words. I'm going to tell you, it does matter in Google. You get different search results. Now, Google will change your search results if you put a wrong term. So if you put If 
if I misspell technology, you see that Google does show results for technology review instead of the misspelled word. The catch is, folks, I'm telling you, it's not going to give you the best results. So do check your spelling and make sure that you've got good spelling because it does matter in a search result. Even though folks say it doesn't, it does matter. So make sure your spelling is as good as it can be. Use the best words, the most important words, and um, only elaborate or get descriptive as you have to drill down to what you want. Now, Google has shortcuts. I want to tell you some shortcuts, which are really cool. Um, number one, you can find out the weather for any zip code by typing weather and then whatever zip code you're in. So let's find out the weather for two, five, my hometown, where I come from. Boom, there it is. Isn't that cool? So the weather is there. You can put any zip code there and boom, you've just searched it. Another one that's great is getting the definition of a word. So you could put in, let's say, let me think, um, and I'm putting in a word which is just fruitful, and then define fruitful. Boom. You get the definition just like that. Isn't that great? You can get the time of a place. Let's do this. Check this out. Time. And then we're going to put New York NY. <clears throat> you got your time. It's that easy. You can check stock quotes. Let's just check the stock quote for Google. Google stock is Goog, G-O-O-G. So you just put the stock in the search console, click it, boom, you've got your Google stock. So these are all great, quick, you know, things you can do to really get really great search results. Let's look at another thing. Let's find a specific file. So we're going to do a specific file. I want to get it in PDF. Now this is where Google gets really, really powerful. So my search term I'm going to put in is going to be mathematics um, or computer science. You're probably not looking for this. Sorry, start to find stuff. So I'm going to put it in these guys to make it do what I want it to do. I'm going to put this here. And then let's put that file type. Check this out. This is fun. File type PDF. Let's find PDFs on it. Look at this, guys. PDFs right here on all those file types. If you're doing studying for and research for classes, this is a great way to dig in. When I go into the advanced um, later uh, Google search tutorials, I'll give you more information on how that works. Money and, and unit conversions, if you want to convert things. Let's say we want to convert 10 miles to kilometers. Google can do this. Boom. There it is, guys. That easy. So that's another one. Um, let's say another thing you would want to know is when you're searching for a certain term, let's see, technology, science, be sure to use the tabs. All of these are tabs up here. So you've got technology science for everything. Let's drill down to news. So here it is in news. You can go to images, which I'm not going to videos, maps. There's more shopping, books, flights, apps, search tools. All of these tabs are very important. Google, you can drill down with tabs. So if you want the current news, click news. Go find images, use images. These are all great search tools. Here's another one. This is one that's a very basic. Use quotes. So you're looking for a specific search term. You want to drill down into it. We want to find exactly what we're looking for. <clears throat> I want to look for, um, let's see, thumb drives above 256 gigabytes and I want to drill down and only find that. I don't want to really find um, any other ones. So I'm going to put thumb drives 256 gigabytes. I'm putting in quotes. Oh, I'm still in news. Look at that. There's the news on it. Isn't that great? 256 gig micro SDX. Remember what tab you're in. Go back to all and it'll drill down into all. Guys, it's going to find ad. The ads are actually helpful when you're searching for something to shop. It's going to go through Amazon. It's going to help you. So Use those quotes. If you use the quotes around it, 
it locks it into that thing. That's what you get to get descriptive. It You find exactly what you want. Some of you guys need to find exactly what you want. Use those quotes. Quotes are awesome. You can also use a hyphen to subtract words. Let's see. I'm seeing in here, um, let's see one of the, I'm going to subtract some. I'm going to subtract, I don't, I want to get a 256 gigabyte USB drive, but I don't want to use PNY or Lexar. Let's, let's remove the Lexar search. Take Lexar out. So it's going to subtract every drive that, that has the Lexar information built into it. Let's do um, PNY. We're going to subtract that thing so it's minus whatever that is. So let's do this. Here's how we do it right there. So we're going to subtract PNY. Boom. We've just taken out PNY so you can find SanDisk, Patriot, whatever. Let's take out SanDisk. So you, it's just like subtracting. You get that? So you add your search and then you subtract it. See how it took SanDisk out? Now you got Lexar PNY. I want to take Lexar out. There you go. See how it does that? That's a fantastic bonus. If you're searching for certain kinds of cars and you want to look up something that crosses over um, oh, one of the things I saw on the web was Mustang cars. Um, so you want to search Mustangs, but you want to search Mustangs the horses. So if you put in Mustangs the horses or Mustangs, you can put minus cars and it'll remove all the search for cars under the term Mustangs. So that's a great one. Um, there's one more I'll show you on this tutorial that's really great. And again, this is just the basic stuff. You got to check out my advance for even more on search. So if you're going to search, let's see, a certain person or name, and I'll just use my site because I'm doing it on a certain site. This is cool. So you've got a certain site that you want to find, and you want to find a certain term. So I'm going to go to my, there we go, my website. I'm able to search inside of my website that exact term where that name is used in every instance. So you put your search term here, and then you put your site there, site, colon, and then the actual site address. It will search down in there, every single thing that's indexed in there, guys. And so that drills you down into a site-specific search. With that said, I'm gonna close up this um, basic tutorial for Google Search, and if you wanna hear more on the advanced, you're gonna need to click here and go to that advanced tutorial. Again, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Give us some comments. If you got questions out there, share them inside the comments and we'll get to them or message us. And then even beyond that, folks, share with us some other um, things that you want to learn on the internet or on technology, and we will answer those here at NerdCheek. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you. Bye-bye.